Welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. In this short practical video, I will guide you for floor beam construction, which length is 30 feet. Guys, you can see this is one column. That is other column. The span between two column is 30 feet. So now I will guide you for size of this beam inside steel reinforcement, which is specially designed for six story commercial building. Let's get started guys. If you are new on this channel, so you may like this video. If you have already subscribed to the channel, so you should like this video. Guys, you can see this is the place where we have negative bending moment at the distance of L by four. After that, we have the other section where we don't have negative bending moment. Guys, you can see near its support, we have negative bending moment. To resist negative bending moment, we will provide extra steel rods or crank bar. Let me guide you for size of this beam, which is 12 by 18 inches. Width is 12 inches. Depth is 18 inches. Guys, you can see clearly depth is 18 inches with slab. And width is 12 inches. If you see, guys, we have four bars at the bottom, which is tension zone. Dia is 16 millimeter. You can see clearly they used here 60 grade steel rods. At the top portion, which is called compression zone, we have two steel rods. But this is section B, where we don't have negative bending moment. At this section, we have six bars, four at the bottom, two at the top. Dia is 16 millimeter for both sections. If you see, guys, the other one is stirrups. The dia is 10 millimeter with the spacing of six inches. You can see clearly, but hooks are bent on 90 degree. It should be provided on 135 degree to resist with earthquake. So this is very important to provide it on 135 degree. Paint this on 135 degree, but not on 90 degree, but they did a small technical mistake in this hook. Okay, guys, you can see this is the section AA, where we have negative bending moment at the middle of the upper section of this beam. We have two extra steel rods, dia is 16 millimeter. You can see guys at the bottom, we have four bars. At the top portion, we have two bars, two bars, are provided at the middle to resist negative bending moment. You can see guys, we have here two section. One at the distance of L by four, the other one is after L by four. The spacing, if you see guys, which is about four inches, because here we have negative bending moment. So therefore the spacing of stirrups are closely compared to after L by four. You can see here, this is six inches, but at the distance of L by four, this is four inches. Next guys, you can see the spacing is four inches and six inches, four inches at the distance of L by four. After that, six inches hooks are bent on 90 degree. If you are working on construction site, so be careful, especially for these common things, which I'm discussing you in this short video and concrete cover is also very important to provide at the bottom of this beam. They didn't provide, but after completion of this beam they will provide concrete cover but sometimes they are not able to provide the concrete cover so the concrete cover should be fixed with the steel reinforcement with the help of binding wire but they didn't provide so maybe they will face more problems in the future after uh, construction of this steel reinforcement but concrete cover is very important for left side right side bottom bar which which should be minimum 40 millimeter or 1.5 inches especially for commercial building Next guys, you can see here, if you want to make it more economical, so provide crank bar or bent up bar. But here guys, you can see they provided extra steel rods, which is expensive compared to the other one, which is bent up bar. You can see guys. At the bottom portion, we should provide maximum numbers of steel bars compared to its top portion because concrete is weak intention so therefore intention zone we are providing more steel reinforcement compared to its compression zone but in compression zone we provided two bars only at the distance of l by four we provided extra steel rods at the distance of 7.5 feet because this is 30 feet span 30 feet divided by four which is called l by four so you will get the length of extra steel rods 7.5 feet Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.